Let's talk a little bit about Young Philly. Unfortunately, it looks like all of the sponsors are dropping like flies in the news of the um of the alleged rape that he's been or not or the alleged rape he's been charged with. So it looks like courtesy of the Times here, Young Philly F Dro sorry, FA withdraws with video series following rape charges. Young Philly FA withdraws video series following rape charge. The FA has withdrawn, which is the Football Association here in the UK, has withdrawn a new online cooking series featuring several England players alongside YouTuber and rapper who's been charged with rape. Oh my God, man. That kind of endorsement. Jesus Christ. He was going to have a cooking show where he got to cook with football players from England. For an England national team, he says here. Yeah, I think Bukayo Saka, Ez, um, Ezri Konza, and Gerard Bowen were going to take part in this cooking show. Bloody hell, that was going to be a bag and a half, isn't it? The internet personality, Young Philly, real name Andres Felipe Valencia Berendos. Um, whoops. Apologies for that. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Um, RIP flipping Jack Muscle still. Um, the FA confirmed it has taken down several videos which featured Berenters with England players, but Kyle Saka and Ezri Konza and Gerard Bowen in a healthy eating initiative as part of the program with MS Food. Also sponsored by MS. This guy's fumble is going to be, needs to be studied. If he, if he is guilty, this fumble is going to need to be studied, man. Berintos was taken into custody in Brisbane on Tuesday and extradited to Perth where the alleged incident occurred. The 29-year-old appeared in Perth Magistrates Court on Thursday where the charges were read but no pleas were entered. He faces four counts of sexual penetration without consent and three counts of assault um, occasioning bodily harm. He also has been charged with another count of impeding a person's normal breathing or circulation by applying pressure on or to their neck. He is alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman in her 20s in the hotel room after he performed at a venue in Hillary's a coastal suburb of Pope of Perth sorry on September 28th in a press release the government um, of Western Australia said investigation is ongoing sexual assault squad detectives urge anyone with information relating to the matter only incidents to come forward Brentos has appeared in several BBC shows and is known for collaborating with YouTube collective beta squad the rapper is on tour was on tour in Australia has previously played for England in a celebrity soccer aid match that was on the Great Celebrity Bake Off on Stand Up for Cancer on Channel 4. So yeah, the FA have withdrawn this series. So it looks like even though he hasn't been even though he hasn't been found guilty, the allegations alone, the charge alone is enough for FA to pull the plug. And then we've got another one too on here. Is this the same thing? Is this about the FA thing or is it another thing? Um a live performance. Oh, this is a live performance. So this is cut to the BBC. Um, a young Philly live show counted after rape charge. A live performance featuring Chunks and Philly show, featuring the Chunks and Philly show podcast, has been cancelled after YouTuber Young Philly was charged over rape allegations. The British rapper and online personality, da da da. Representative contacted for comment. The first live performance of the podcast, Internet Personality Chunks, was due to take place on the 18th of October, which obviously isn't going to happen. The podcast, which was first broadcast last year, sees the pair interview rappers and influencers. Venue Troxy confirmed the show's cancellation. A spokesperson told BBC, the event was removed from our website yesterday and all ticket holders have been informed that their ticket will be refunded automatically. The BBC contacted promoters Dice for comment in a statement upload productions, which produces chunks of Philly's show said, we're aware of the serious allegations that have been made against young Philly and legal proceedings are now underway in Western Australia. In the commercial areas of business where we have responsibilities, we have paused working with our client. I wonder in these sort of situations, when you get charged with this sort of stuff, does this fall under like gross misconduct? Can they like withdraw payment? Can they like, I know they can cancel up and coming deals or shows and stuff, but can they decide to withdraw payment? Like what actually happens? Is this something that they can, even if you haven't been charged, even if you haven't been found guilty, can they actually sever ties with you legally? Is that like allowed? Like, it, like that's, it seems wild. This guy's losing absolutely everything in real time. Um, again, maybe it's going to be justified when he actually does have to face, you know, the music in court. But it seems wild because imagine a scenario where it gets proven that he's innocent. Then what happens? Do, do, do all those people come back to the table? Do they kind of, you know, hey, we, we didn't mean, we didn't mean what we said. Let's have you back or something. Or do you just start from scratch again? What happens in that regard? I'd love to know what happens in that regard. Um, then we've got um, another update here, courtesy of the Daily Mail. 
regarding Young Philly's ex-friend and fellow YouTuber LV General, um, who people were assuming would come out and be dancing on Young Philly's grave. But credit to the guy. Um, I'm not sure if he's being sarcastic, but he was pretty supportive in a weird way. So this is LV General on his Instagram post. By the way, if you don't know, um, um, what you call it, Young Philly and LV had a show together or were working together early on. And then I think they had a falling out. And then obviously Philly went on to do what he went on to do. And LV General has always kind of held a bit of a grudge um, with how kind of Young Philly kind of, you know, left the situation and kind of didn't really bring him through. So he rightfully, you'd say, kind of hated, you know, <laughs> he's kind of hated uh, Young Philly. So people just assumed he'd be happy to see his demise. But let's see what this comment said when he posted on the Instagram story. Official LV General said the following. Everyone, please stop messaging me about what's happened to Young Philly. He's a grown man and he has to take responsibility for his own actions. I'll be praying for man because Australian prison ain't no joke. Best snakes and spiders and shit. I just hope this don't backfire on his family. Which is true. That's the main thing, isn't it? The main thing is the family and the main thing also, I think, is the friends. I think is the friends. The friends also getting unfairly blamed for this is kind of unfair. And I think there's a post here that I quickly want to check you out, which features Chunks, who actually addresses um, what happened and basically says, hey, I'm not going to contact, I'm not going to speak about it because it's an ongoing situation. But a lot of people were trying to cancel Chunks for something his friend did and his co-host did. And it's like, bro, like, how could you cancel one guy for the other guy's actions? Um, and if you know anything about Chunks, you'd know that he's, you know, he's uh, very religious and um, he doesn't really go out like that. So I think if there was somebody that could um you know go with the defense of plausible deniability i think it's chunks he could you could believe he didn't know the extent of the madness that young philly was allegedly doing you'd imagine so you'd imagine so um so this is courtesy of academics tv and this is chunks commenting on people wanting him to comment on young philly yes my people's like everyone i've heard the reports coming out of australia um whilst i understand many of you want my reaction on it um as this is an ongoing court case i hope you guys can understand that i can't and won't be commenting on it publicly um so yeah i've just come on here to basically let you know the yeah. reasons as to why i can't love fair play fair play man fair play you can't hate on that at all you probably want answers you want him to say something but fair play not saying something and to be fair as well like as serious as these allegations are i have a really big problem with people who especially if you're in the media or if you're in a public eye or you're a public figure sorry and somebody close to you who's also in a public figure goes down for something i have a really big problem with guys who feel very comfortable sort of like cancelling their friends online and dunking on them i don't think it's necessary you don't owe the public an explanation for your friend's actions. It wasn't you. Why are you fucking explaining it? You know, why are you trying to explain it away? Why are you trying to save your own back? It's just not necessary. If you want to disavow your friend, you can do that privately. You don't need to let the public know. We don't care if your friend's that person anymore. We will see it anyway. Anyway, right? We will probably see it um, based on your actions and who you hang around with after the fact. But I've always despised people. I think there's something quite cowardly there's something quite um, shameless about people who come out and make a situation like this all about them by talking about the situation at length or that go out of their way to disavow the person and kind of virtue signal. It's like, if anything, you probably don't want to say nothing because if you start talking, people are going to start looking at you weird, right? They're going to start looking at you a little bit with a side eye. So you probably should just avoid talking about it. Let the guy deal with the situation, how he's going to deal with it. And, and wherever the chips may fall, you kind of deal with what you have to deal with then. But this whole like airing out your friendship laundry or talking in exhaustive detail about what might have happened, you know, just, you know, guessing and whatever, that should be left for strangers like myself and random people on the internet. That's what we should be doing. But if you're an actual friend of Young Phillies, you should probably just shut the fuck up. Because if you talk, you're most likely going to make things worse and you're going to make yourself look wild. And you, it's also not something a friend should do. You know, even in situations like this, like you should have like, you know, you should keep your counsel. You can, you can chastise and scold the guy privately, which I'm sure he probably has received some very, you know, frank and direct messages from probably friends saying, hey, if this is true, don't ever contact me again type of thing. But you don't need to come out in public and say that. It's just not necessary. I've always hated that sort of shit. I think that sort of stuff is really, really, really crazy. And, you know, it's just unnecessary. And if that guy was your friend at one point, 
the most, you know, the least you owe that person is to kind of not sully their name in public. You don't need to do that, really. They're already going through enough as it is. But there has been some very interesting, interesting theories about what's going on, about the truth of what actually occurred. So let's actually go through some of these posts that people have been uploading. Um, not this lady. Let's go through the other one first. So this one, this is one of the posts. So this person here, again, this is TikTok stuff. This is not, you know, this hasn't been uh, vetted or, you know, whatever in terms of understanding whether or not this is real or not. But this random guy on Twitter, on TikTok, sorry, shared this update regarding Young Philly's situation. Oh, I got an update from Australia. You're gonna want to hear this one, my guy. Someone from Perth hit me up and imagine he showed me the girl. You see this girl? I'm not gonna post her picture because of legal reasons, bro. I am not a dickhead. I'm a bit of a prick. Anyways, so this girl, bro, first of all, let me just say something, yeah? Get this out of the way. I'm gonna say it as nice as possible. You know, for a while, I've seen on social media that black men and a certain type of female, it always ends up wrong. I never knew about this. I've seen it recently and now seeing this is like, whoa, you'll probably get the gist of what I'm saying. Now, let me read this. So this guy's friend told him that this girl tried to do this to Bryson Tiller when he came to Perth as well. And they didn't follow through because there wasn't enough evidence. I was like, what? So Philly being set up? Yeah, bro. I was like, damn, we got to free him up, bro. That's why you would want to know. Oh, yeah, because no one knows about this, bro. No one's saying this anyways. Because I'll be real, my guy. You know him as a real guy. I used to watch Philly. You know when he was coming up? I used to fuck with him. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's that same thing, you know, when a person blows and then they just change. In my eyes. But anyways, bro, this is real shit straight out of Perth, my guy. You know what I'm So, they're alleging that the lady involved is somehow, has has history, has previous of doing this to other well-known black men. Um, this whole black men conspiracy, I've, I've heard too, much, too many conspiracy theories, but especially around Diddy. You know, I think Ice Cube is running around saying how Diddy is lawsuit with Diageo might have been the reason why like there's all, all this like take a black man down type of thing narrative is dumb but this does line up with the other stories I've also heard online with people saying that this woman has previous of doing this to other people and this person is suggesting that the other person that she may have accused of graping her was Bryson Tiller so but then that didn't go anywhere that didn't go as far as it's gone with um what you call it young Philly because it wasn't as much evidence um, to kind of you know take that forward so that could be a, a scenario that's kind of playing out here it which which again as i said before which if true there should be consequences for on one side i think if somebody does get convicted of grape they should just lock the you know throw you in jail and lock away throw away the key especially at that age like there's no reforming you or there's no rehabilitating you and i think on the same token on the opposite side of things if it gets proven that a woman lied on a man about grape as well they should also face some sort of punishment that's how it should be so that we live in a somewhat just world where you know if guys that commit such heinous crimes can get you know punished very harshly and then obviously that could be a deterrent and then if somebody puts a false allegation of somebody then they get charged you know harshly that could be a deterrent too that's the way we should live in but again who knows what's going on with this issue i guess we'll find out as the story kind of progresses then we have another one where i'm not going to show that because that shows the details of the person um and then we have this account here courtesy of another person on twitter called the great british mc the title says 17 year old girl says young feeling her management manipulate her so this girl is being a bit vague she's not really saying what happened but it seems like she's insinuating that something untoward happened between her and young Philly when she was younger but young Philly and her management sort of like buried it you know they kind of sweeped under the rug and kind of made her maybe not report it or something whatever it may be so she's kind of i guess coming out and validating some of the stories about him or saying that you know he's maybe had previous so let's play this clip again i don't know can't vet this no idea who this girl is but let's just play, play the post anyway and to be honest i never planned on saying anything at all it's only because of what's come out now that I feel like I should have said something in the past and I should say something now. Four years ago, I I spoke to a young Philly on Instagram DM. He DM'd me and I ended up going to his flat. Him and his management, they worked very hard to manipulate me, obviously me when I was 17, and to make me feel like if I said anything, then they could ruin my life my life would be over you know it'd be awful for me awful for my mental health so 
they convinced me to stay quiet Damn. and right now i just feel awful because i feel like in light of what's happened to this poor woman in australia maybe it could have been prevented if i had said something before i was 17 and when it first happened the incident um i didn't have anyone to talk to about it i was very alone and i was very embarrassed and i literally didn't know what to do i didn't want to talk about it then and to be honest i don't want to talk about it now i don't want to go into details it's embarrassing and it's horrible to relive it however I also don't want him to get away with this. So again, I don't know what to believe. Don't know what is true. Don't know what isn't true. But, you know, these things are flying all over the place. There's another video also I need to play here, um, which features the ex-girlfriend. And again, I just, I just think in these type of situations, everybody involved, especially some of the close people involved in his life, should just keep quiet. And just let things play out the way they're going to play out. Because I'm sure this girl has the best intentions, right? Being the ex-girlfriend. But, you know, why are you speaking about this? This has nothing to do with you. The situations aren't the same at all. You're the ex-girlfriend. This lady allegedly is accusing this guy of grape. Like, what could you possibly add to this conversation? <laughs> you know? No, what could you possibly add that would be of any benefit to anybody? You're not helping the guy. You're distracting everything that's going on. You're probably making it worse, really, if you if we're being really honest. Um, but you know, I guess she had to say something. So this allegedly is young Philly's ex girlfriend, and again, who knows if it is? We don't have no idea. But let's play the clip anyway. I just want to talk about this, and here's my side of the story. Now, how could you say my side of the story when you're not involved? Your side of the story. <laughs> Honestly, the world we live in at the moment, man. Everyone, everyone wants, everyone's got main character syndrome. Everyone wants to be the star of their own movie. Everyone wants to be the star of their own reality TV show. Everyone just wants to be a star. And this is the most icky, like, this is kind of a wild time to, like, come up and want to get your five minutes of fame in it. When another woman is accusing a guy that you used to date of grape, you would maybe feel disgusted or feel a little bit terrified and and maybe question your ability to judge good or bad people and shit, right? It, you, it'd probably fuck with your head a bit. The last thing you want to be doing is sitting in front of a camera on TikTok, you know, talking about your experience, you know? You probably want to hide away somewhere because you're just shocked that somebody close to you could be, be accused or something like this, especially somebody that you were once close with. But now, not 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 this, not this uh, new era we live in, Every, you know, this new era we live in is the personification of that quote. I forgot who that American politician was what, that said something along the lines of uh, never let a good, never let a crisis, never let a good crisis go to waste or something like that. This is basically what situation we're living in at the moment. People taking advantage of, you know, every opportunity to kind of get their name out there and face out there. Pretty shameless, but I guess it is what it is. Before we start, obviously, I don't want to air personal business. Um, Thank you. That's private. Um, we were <laughs> oh, speaking great. last year. Can't give you really time frames and rekindled at Misfits. I actually know Philly, so at least the people that are watching this. I can't really give time frames. We rekindled at Misfits. Isn't that a time frame? <laughs> Bless this girl, isn't it? Bless her, man. Bless her. Can have something based on someone that actually knows him and not people speculating and just know him from seeing him on the internet and girth and turf. Philly is someone that I know and get on with, right, okay? I'm not here to say things did or didn't happen. All I'm here to say, to tell you even, is my side of the story. What's your side of the story though? Did he grape you too? My experiences with Philly made me feel comfortable. Um, I When we rekindled um, this year, there was actually, I'm going to make a point of saying this, there was a point where he was like, if you don't want to do, if you don't want to do anything, if you don't want to, bear in mind, we'd spoken last year. We'd, we'd... <laughs> hey, she loves him, isn't it? She loves him, man. Bless. Bless, man. This is kind of sweet in a way. She really loves the guy. She kind of really is sad he's going through what he's going through. Like, she's really... This This seems sincere, I'm not going to lie. I get the feeling she might be a bit dumb, right? She might be a bit dumb, which isn't her fault. 
But I get the feeling she actually loves this guy and she just is trying to do something to help him because she's probably getting mad DMs. People are talking wild about her. She's like, no, you don't know Philly. You don't know the way, you don't know, what's his name? Um, What's, what's his actual forename? Because I'm sure girls love to do that. Girls love to call, you know, guys that have like, you know, nicknames by their full name. What's his actual name? Uh, uh, Andres, right? Andres, Felipe, Valencia, you know, whatever she calls him. Hey, and Andy, whatever, right? So girls love that. So she probably, you know, loves a little bit of that. But it's like, sister, you're not helping the situation. Honestly, you're not. We've been um, seeing each other last year. And even then, he was like, um, if you... <laughs> it's almost like she's happy to, to let us know that, isn't it? Like, she's happy to let us know. He picked me. And there's many girls out there, but... If you don't want to do anything, if you're not if you're not comfortable, we don't have to. I just want to make a point of he's never made me feel any pressure, and I think until we... oh really, ex girlfriend, he's never made you feel any pressure. He loved you, he cared for you at the time that you were together. Who would have guessed? We've got definitive answers to the question. I'm not discrediting what's happened. I don't know the ins and outs, and probably neither do you. Um, I'm just here to give. Why are you saying that so, so, like... <laughs> you don't know anything either, so why are you acting like you do? Just because you dated him at one point doesn't mean you know what he does when he's not with girlfriends and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you have no idea what's going on. You don't know people until you know people, really. A balance side of the story, you know what I mean? Just give you someone that actually ha knows him... Um, my side i don't owe him anything either you know he's not asking me to do this no one's pressuring me to do this i just want to just say let's all just calm down for a second until we know all the ins and outs um and my personal experience is, is that he was fine with me okay you should have led with that the end bit was good you should have led with the end but you should have put the the end at the beginning and then got rid of the other bits should have just put the end bit at the beginning everyone chill out it's a, it's a, it's, you know, everyone's innocent or proven guilty. The young filly that I know wouldn't have done something like that. Let's see how it plays out and we can go from there. Cool. No problem. Two thumbs up. Keep it moving. But all the other bits and bobs, it's like, bruh, you're making yourself look kind of dumb. Like, also, it, it's a, you know, it's great. Like, I don't know. You're a young lady. Aren't you a little bit worried, <laughs> you know, about what's going on? Why are you so quick to like jump out? Like, you know, it's, it's a serious kind of allegation. You'd imagine you'd want to, you know, see how it kind of plays out before you actually stepped out there. But maybe that's her being brave and really backing the guy. But again, I just get the feeling that she really loves him. So, you know, fair play. If you really love the guy and you want to defend him, I guess fair play in that regard. And then the last video here we got, let's play this one. Um, the Young Fear situation has really brought to light the influencers who are going to catch a case next. This I don't like, by the way. This like, um, this like next culture is weird, by the way. Everyone using the opportunity at Young Philly's been going through what he's going through to like try to pin other things on other people, you know, who aren't involved. It's a bit crazy, but let's play this video anyway. Touch very lightly on the Young Philly situation, and it's not really about anything to do with him or the potential victim, but a lot of people who are influencers or very have very large followings are mentioning the fact that the girl was in his hotel room. I just want to touch base on consent uh, considering that we're all adults and we should really know what it means um if you are in the vicinity of the opposite sex regardless of whether you're a man or a woman you're not entitled to have sex with them even if you find them really attractive everyone knows that yeah cool <laughs> it's mad she's saying this <laughs> it's mad she's having to say this but it is necessary <laughs> because some of the stuff i've seen online has been insane obviously m mainly from hs tiki toki but he's not the only person there's been a bunch of people online who's been saying the same thing why does she go to the room she knows what she knows what i'll go on with the room she knows what he's like we all know what he's like da, 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 da. it's like huh <laughs> does that excuse or justify or you know <laughs> you know invalidate somebody's <laughs> consent like, just because you went somewhere, you can't then change your mind midway through or something. Like, once you start, you just have to kind of go with it. Is that what it's saying here? <laughs> you have to grin and bear it. 
But yeah, she, big up her for making this very clear and black and white. Uh, even if you're midway through the deed and your partner, regard, again, regardless of gender, says to you, I don't want to do this anymore. If you carry on past that point, it's rape. If you sat, sat back in that situation and go, oh yeah, babe, but I'm almost done. Please just carry on. That's coercion. So you still rape them. I hope this makes sense. And I hope you understand that no is a full sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the amount of coercions out there. <laughs> Big up the coercions. Big up the coercions. There's so many coercions out there <laughs> who probably heard that and like, ah, and scream. I did what? <laughs> oh, the coercions. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing, but the coercions are going to be in for a fright. In for a fright, man. But I don't know. I don't know. I guess when this, when more of the story comes out, there should hopefully be more lessons to be learned from this and gleaned. Um, but I think this narrative that people are saying about, oh, Young Fee just should have got a girlfriend. He would have settled down. It's not about that. Like, there's people... Do people not know that there's, you know, convicted rapists in prison now who were married at the time that they did their thing? Like, it doesn't mean because you're married and you have a woman next to you and shit and you have a family that it can kind of um, stop you from doing crazy stuff or doing bad stuff or evil things to people and shit. That's not, that's not how it works. So I just hope whenever the details come out, lessons that need to be gleaned from it can be gleaned from it. Um, especially, I think, most of the thing that needs to be gleaned from it, I think, is the whole, like, just smashing everything that moves thing, especially when it comes to your fans. There needs to be a little bit of, like, self-control culture to be kind of promoted especially within some of these influencer spaces because there does seem to be a lot of women coming out who say you kind of have said that one of them already played that they've had good experiences with the guy so clearly he was a bit of a you know bit of a ladies man in that regard girls also liked him it's not just one way it wasn't just him just chasing after girls and being a sex pest it was definitely reciprocated but you know you have to wonder sometimes if somebody's always in that mood you're always on that mode, on that time, right? You're always kind of thinking with your pee, pee That can sometimes lead to problems. So maybe there does need to be a shift away from that, you know, and learning how to kind of, you know, um, control your urges or not just not just try and, you know, plow all your fans. Even if some, all your fans might be girls, maybe, uh, maybe have some level of self-control, maybe, you know, being a bit more picky, maybe just enjoying their company and not having to go that way. That could also be cool. Who knows? Uh, I, I know some guys, you know, find that kind of hard to do, but I think that might be a way to kind of go forward with these sort of things to kind of avoid these situations as well in the future, because, you know, people get drunk with power and the money and the fame. And then suddenly they start to get a bit entitled. And then when they get in a situation where somebody says no, then it becomes a little bit harder to, you know, um, uh, you know, listen to that person, which it shouldn't really, but you know, these things happen. So I guess we'll have to wait to see how it plays out at the moment. I guess we'll have to see how it wait to plays out, and of course, we'll update um you regarding it when it does eventually happen, and we know more about Wagwan. I will let you guys know when we know more about Wagwan.